Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in here with team number 190, Gompi in the Herd, here at the first championship event. This incredible robot has won every district event it went to, even their field at the New England District Championship. Just incredible. They can even do algae in the net. Here with me to talk more, I have Adnan, Grace, Jasmine, and Anshu. Let's find out so much more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options through their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, Grace, moving over to you. Can we talk about the mechanical features of this robot? How are you guys able to score so well? Yeah, so just to get started, um, for coral at least, our coral, we can do coral from the human station, we can do algae, we can do algae from the ground, and we can also do algae from the reef. And so how our coral works is we have a retroreflective tape sensor that has retroreflective tape on the other side, and when that light is cut, that's how our funnel closes. It's a very fun feature of our funnel. And so here's a quick demonstration. Yeah, and so from the funnel, it rolls into the end effector, and then on end effector, we can score levels that we can score levels one, two, three, and four. And then how we score is basically, we have auto align, which auto aligns to the reef. And then we just, we can just eject it here, which is spinning the end effector wheels. All right, Jasmine, I heard your robot actually has the ability to score algae in the net. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so fun fact, we can do algae in the net. And so we can pick it up off the ground and place it in the barge. And we can also do algae in the processor. That's pretty cool. Impressive abilities. So I really like this, uh, this intake you have here for the algae. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? What was the design process and maybe prototyping look like for this algae mechanism? Yeah, so mainly we wanted something that could fit on a with the mechanisms that we already had. And so it's pretty compact and it fits around everything and essentially just extends and the roller spins and then allows the algae to come right into the claw that we have right here. Very cool. So moving now over to Adnan, can you tell me a little bit more about the climber mechanism you guys have? I heard it works pretty well for you. So how did you guys discover the design and what is that like for Gompi? Um, and so it basically deploys with this gas shock, um, this hook, uh, is attached to this gear, um, and then when it, when it uh, unlocks, it, it gets stuck on here and acts as a hard stop so it doesn't overextend. Uh, and then from this point on, um, the robot keeps driving forward into the cage, uh, which these, this grappling hook can catch. Uh, and after that, we keep driving forward. This hits the bottom of the cage and then tips, which activates some limit switches, um, which can then make the robot pull this string and, and, and climb. Wow. Yeah. Nice. It, it, it's pretty cool. So has this gone through any changes throughout the season or have you guys kind of stuck with the design all year? Uh, it's gone through many changes actually. We originally had this part up here and it kind of stung out after this deployed. Uh, then during prototyping we realized that um, it was it could climb up the cage freely and so we decided to attach it directly on here and save some weight. We also changed this uh, centering mechanism for the cage a lot. Very interesting, thank you so much. Uh, Anshu, can we talk a little bit more about the controls of this robot? It performs very well throughout both Auton and Teleops. Can you go into some of the sensors and programming you guys are using? Yeah, so for our sensors, we have some retroreflective tape over here, and we have a sensor over here that can sense that. And basically, this is used to sense our coral when the coral comes in here, we're able to close this and guide the coral straight into the end effector. And on this side of the robot, we have a hard stop here. So when the coral comes in here, and this is trying to push back in, um, when we sense a higher um, velocity, we can say that we have a coral. 
Then we also have this arm over here. And what we're doing over with the arm is that when we have an algae, we're constantly feeding it some voltage based on how much current we're drawing. So if the algae is pretty far out, it it um, there's a higher voltage to hold the algae in. And if it's already inside, we feed it a low voltage. Uh, we also have three limelight fours so that we can see any of the reef tags from any angle on the field. And what these do is they allow us to auto align to any face of the reef from uh, any angle. And that really helps with auto scoring. Well, incredible controls. Thank you so much uh, to your whole team for taking the time to talk to us today on Behind the Bumpers. My name is James for Fun Robotics Network. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual price when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details.